Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff, and I want to talk a little bit about the clinical aspects of ayahuasca. The reason why ayahuasca is bridging into a Western medical framework is because they have found some amazing outcomes with people that are participating in these uh, shamanic and curandero ceremonies, and also the experiences with ayahuasca that people are having that are coming from a Western framework into areas where this, this medicine is prevalent. And so what people are finding, um, the researchers and different doctors and psychologists and different people around the world, they're finding that ayahuasca treats a variety of mental health issues and also physical ailments. One of the main issues that it treats is um, they report in these, re in these studies and also in uh, patient reporting themselves after they've had the experience, they report that it helps very much reduce their symptoms of trauma and PTSD. It also helps reduce um, depression and anxiety symptoms. It also works very well for behavioral disorders such as eating disorders. And it's, it's shown to reduce cravings for people that have a history of addictions. So there's a lot of really interesting things that are happening with ayahuasca and with the traditional sort of diagnostic model that we've gotten used to in the West. And the reason why the, these things work for that and why ayahuasca is so, is so profound is because it has the combination of some very important chemicals. Um, the vine component of ayahuasca has what's called beta carbolines or plant-based alkaloids. And these alkaloids or active ingredients are harmine, harmaline, and tetrahydroharmine. And these are what we call in medicine monoamine oxidase inhibitors. Those allow for the absorption of the leaf-based ingredient of the blend, which is DMT, dimethyltryptamine, to be absorbed into the body. So the monoamine oxidase inhibitor sort of turns off the stomach enzymes in a way and allows the DMT to be absorbed into the body. So when the DMT is absorbed, lots of interesting things are happening. They're finding and theorizing about a lot of different outcomes. One of them is reducing certain symptoms of, of health issues, Lyme's disease, rheumatoid arthritis has been reported. Um, certain cancers are being looked at as a, as a potential sort of modality to help reduce symptoms. There's all kinds of different really interesting health um, things look, that are being looked at currently in the West. So ayahuasca is becoming something that's um, a go-to for a lot of people that work in healthcare and also in, in psychology and mental health.